Alright, tonight two Baltimore women are accusing R. Kelly of sexually assaulting them after his concert in our city back in 1996. Young teens at the time, they snuck out to see their idol perform at the Baltimore Arena. And tonight they are telling their story exclusively to WJZ. And in a major development, another Baltimore woman has come forward, a witness to what happened at a downtown hotel. You May 31st, 1996, R&B superstar R. Kelly's top secret tour storms the Baltimore arena. For best friends, 16-year-old Latrice Scaff and 15-year-old Rochelle Washington, it's the concert of their young lives. They're so excited they call into 92Q. They had us live all over the radio. People heard us all over the city. The concert ends, but the night is far from over. The girls have flyers for an after party at the Baltimore Grand Nightclub at Saratoga and Howard. They're living a dream. R. Kelly was scoping us out through a crowd. The women tell WJZ they are given marijuana and alcohol, then invited back to the hotel with R. Kelly. At what point did it turn from exciting and cool oh, you're with boy. R. Kelly to... Okay terror. He entered the room already exposing himself to us. Scared, Rochelle shut herself in the bathroom. That's when Latrice alleges R. Kelly sexually assaulted her, something she describes at a recent news conference. When Kelly was alone with me, he asked me to perform all sex on him. I was under the influence of marijuana and alcohol and I did it. He then had sexual intercourse with me, even though I did not have the capacity to consent. And in incredible development, a local woman saw that news conference and instantly recognized the women and their story. Sabrina. 23 years after Sabrina saw Latrice stumbling off the hotel elevator, these women are reunited for the first time with WJZ cameras rolling. An emotional, overwhelming moment. <laughs> Knowing that together they will seek justice against R. Kelly. I've thought about them for many, many years. Did you know how old she was at that point? No, but I knew they were young. You could clearly see she was in pain. She was in pain. She couldn't walk. She was bent over, walking alongside of the wall. And she began to tell me that um, she was in a room with R. Kelly and you know, they had sex, it was very rough, and he left her on the bed and said he would come back. He never came back. Security came and told her Robert said meet him in the lobby. You can corroborate their story. I sure can. The fact that she's been waiting, waiting. For, for, you know, for us to do, you know, come forward, it's just... I just can't, I, I can't believe it. I'm just really shocked. They tell the same story, even though they haven't spoken nor seen each other since that night. They are now represented by Gloria Allred, a nationally prominent attorney who prosecutes high profile sexual assault cases. A celebrity does not have a license to hurt people just because he is a celebrity. I want the people in Baltimore to know that I am not a liar whatsoever. Um, I also want them to know this has happened to me. I have no reason to lie on this man. All three women have spoken with federal prosecutors. Despite repeated attempts to reach R. Kelly's attorney, we never received a call back. As for that witness, Sabrina, she told us R. Kelly invited her to the same hotel. She was also at the concert. But after seeing what had happened to Latrice, she turned around and left. Now you can watch in-depth interviews with her and the others involved in this case on WJZ.com.